Hi, my name is Bernice Ferdal, Norwegian, first generation Norwegian, and I've been a member of Leif Erikson Lodge No. 1, Seattle, Washington, for 50 years. I grew up in the lodge, and one of the things I learned to make was lefse, two kinds of lefse, the one that takes a long time, or the one we are now using when we have our bazaars at the lodge and the Heritage Day. We use instant potatoes, and people can't tell the difference. So I will demonstrate how to mix and bake the lefse. And to make the lefse, you need three cups of powdered potatoes, instant potatoes, one cup of powdered milk, a dash of salt, a tablespoon of sugar, three cups of boiling water. We will melt one cube of butter and one and a half cups of flour, all purpose. And the equipment you will need will be a board covered in pastry cloth, a rolling pin, it can be serrated, but we use a pastry cloth over the rolling pin so the dough will not stick. And you will need a stick to flip the lefse, a lefse stick. Now I will blend the ingredients, starting with the potato buds, the powdered milk, the dash of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and three cups boiling water. And slowly add in the half a stick of butter. Unsalted is fine, or you can use butter flavor shortening. Scrape down the sides and to cool this mixture I will add it to a bowl and spread it out in the bowl so it cools faster in the refrigerator. You cool the dough for about 45 minutes. After the dough has cooled we will add the flour, one and a half cups of flour, and then it'll be time to cool the dough again. And then we will put it back in the fridge. Great dough, perfect. All it needs is flour after it is cooled. And what we do is we, I have a crew that I work with about 10 people. We make the lefse, we make the crumb caca, and we make the waffles. And we've devised this way of making the potato lefse these steps so that it will go faster. We make it the night before the dough. Okay, I'll go put this in the fridge. Okay. While I'm waiting for the mixture to finally cool down, and I will then add this one and a half cups of flour, I have set up a board. And on this board, I'm going to roll the dough and I'm going to make a log and I cut the log in half so you have two pieces and I will wrap each log in foil because we are going to let the dough cool one more time with the flour in it in the refrigerator. Okay, now I will turn the mixer on just to get it a little bit blended and I will start incorporating the flour a little at a time. It will look a little crumbly, but when we put it out in the, onto the floured board, we will smoosh it all together to make the log. Okay, that's the rest of the flour. And I'll put my hands in and mix it. I'm mixing it so it's going to come out like a clump. 
I can always put the dough. Okay, I think that's good enough. And voila, left, left the dough. Pick up all the pieces that flew out of the mixer. And doesn't have to be smooth. Just get it long enough because after it's cut in half and sat in the refrigerator, we will slice it into eight sections, eight discs. And the longer you make it, the faster it will cool if you don't have time to do it overnight. And no need to flour the foil. Roll it up, close the ends. This one will make a little longer so you can see. It is pliable, easy to work with. And I'll put that in the foil. And now I'll go put this in the fridge. I've taken out one log, left the other one in the fridge to continue to cool. And I have my flour board. And I will just make it a little bit more pliable. And I will cut this in half. And then I need eight. One. And then I will roll the dough into a ball. And I will put it in flour. This helps to make the dough pliable. And I will turn the left side iron on to 450. I had it turned on just before we started filming the video, so it is heated. And left of irons, when you're baking for a long period of time, the temperature tends to go up and down. So don't get discouraged, it's not broken. If it doesn't fry at all, it's broken. And you want to Snash it and make it in the shape of a patty. And you want the edges smooth. And now I'll start to roll. You start from the center and you roll out and you roll back. It's like a clock. So I've done 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And then you can do two o'clock. And the secret is, if you want them perfectly round, you can take a lid to a pot and cut it out. Now this is my sample. And see how it's stretching? This was a small one. I will profess, making them round is not my expertise. So then what you do is you take your, put it on the grill, you take your 
flip left the flipper and you point the down and then you lift it up tap it go to the edge and roll it out and in a few minutes uh, about a minute I will dust off some of the flour from the left side itself and when you get really good at this you can start rolling your next one while it's cooking but keep your eye on the griddle and one thing I want to point out do you see how they're puffing up the dough is puffing up that's a good sign that means that the dough worked I'm going to call this one a flower and I'll take a peek a little bit longer sometimes you'll get a whole big bubble Now I'm going to make the patty. And there we go, voila, a lefsa. Potato lefsa. And that looks good. And I have a setup area here to put the lefsa in, two tea towels, and you put it inside the tea towel, it retains the moisture. And then I take my towel and wipe off the excess flour. And I will continue rolling. I have a squeaky wheel. Years of use, I think it's saying I've done my share. Also, there is something called lumpe, which is another potato type left, so made thicker. And in Norway, they sell that with sausages and mustard at um, stands. So if I were to make this not as thin, it would be called a lumpe. A little bit more flour on here. Oh, it's starting to bubble again. Now the best part. We're going to put our butter. And we can sprinkle sugar. Or we can do cinnamon butter and sugar, which I have already made. This is how I ate it growing up, is with sugar. A true Norwegian would just put butter, maybe some pickled herring, even some roll pulsa And then you just roll it up. And now your funky looking lefsa, they'll never know. And if you want, you can cut off the ends. And put it on display. The next one, I will do Cinnamon butter and sugar. Well, I have some butter here. I'll use that. I think that Norway has three spices. Cinnamon, sugar, and butter. But now Norway has incorporated so many other types of food. I think when they discovered there was spices in the world that they have really gotten in they at one time they ate the world's most pizza and now they're into taco tuesday now i am gilding the lily because i am putting cinnamon sugar on butter i think this one will be mine okay so i turn it so that i see the most rounded edge there now maybe your family has a recipe that you like to use. We use this recipe because it's handy, convenient, and it tastes great. Enjoy, and I get to eat the ends. It's been fun. Keep well. Thank you. Oh, that's good. Just needs a little more cinnamon butter. <laughs>